New Lu Moon Chinese Supermarket in Chinatown. Julie, what's the first stop? Our first stop absolutely has to be Chinese tea, an absolute staple in Chinese culture. Now, I know a few things about tea, but Dad knows way more. So we'll wait until he's here to give you a proper low down, down low, whichever one it is, about it. Just look at all of this beautiful, colourful packaging. Oh, especially this one. Right, I think it's time for a swapsies. Swapsies! Okay guys, the first stop in the noodle section is me goring. A student staple. Now, right down here is vermicelli noodles. So now, Mum told me a little secret for how to pick the best vermicelli. You give it a bit of a squeeze. A secret squeeze. If it doesn't break, then it's the good stuff. Right. You can also get it in fun size. Now guys, look at all of this amazing noodle selection. I'm going to show you my favourite noodles over here. And here they are. Now, these are shrimp egg noodles, the thin ones. They've got a lovely bite, and Julie used them in our go-to lunches video. So check that out. Julie, it's your turn. Soxies? Hey guys, now we're onto the sauces. So, first up, we have sriracha. It's zesty and spicy, and our little brother Justin's very favorite. Let's head over that way. Oh man, look at that big mama. <laughs> but let's get a bit serious. We're gonna come up here to the satay dern. It's a barbecue sauce that mum used to always use to marinate her pork and her chicken and incredibly delicious. Yeah, delish. Right, oh, I think that this is going to look quite familiar to you. A little soy sauce as you see in your Chinese restaurants, but we reckon that the best soy sauce you can buy is actually this stuff down here. It's the Golden Mountain. Salty, but not too salty, I yeah, would say. It's yeah, it's everything. Right. And last in the sauces section, we're going to come over to the sesame oil. All I have to say about this is that it's nutty and aromatic. I think it's time for a swapsies. Great. So guys, we've all had a tofu, but there is something called fermented tofu, as you can see in these beautiful jars. Now, we won't go into this now, but do check out our Wildcat video for how you can use this. Okay, down here, moving along, prawn crackers. Now, we've all had these before, but did you know that before you fry them, they actually like this? You can hear the rattle? Right, let's move on. Now, bamboo shoots, all manner of bamboo shoots, whole ones, sliced ones, diced ones, whatever. Now, do check out our Hargau video where we use these. They have a lovely bite to them. They take on awesome kinds of flavour. So Julie, swaps these? About time. Here we have some Saxon table salt. You can get that at your local Sainsbury's. Come down here and you'll see tapioca pearls. Now, if you've ever had bubble tea before, you would have sucked these through those giant straws. Like these ones. Right, speaking of tapioca pearls, We have tapioca flour. Tapioca flour is the same as tapioca starch, but different to wheat starch. But both of these you'll find in our hargao recipe. Zip along and we have glutinous rice flour. We make tong yun with those, and you can check out our recipe for that too. Whew, I think it's time for a swap. Yeah, the type of type of frozen. So the first thing I'm going to show you is these wonton skins. Now you're probably quite familiar with these wontons, these fried ones. Oh, wonton? Mm, okay. So, wonton skins. We're going to use these to make some soup wontons. Really delicious. But I want to really show you these here. Dumpling skins. Dumpling skins. <laughs> Sorry, that's probably going to make you sick. Now, these we're going to make um, seal mai with them, which are lovely pork dumplings. Oh, there's some over here actually. Look. Mr. Porky! And you know, they're quite different. It's all open in the front. Those are delicious. Actually, Justin's favourite, right? Okay, now let's shimmy. Now, this is probably one of the best finds in the Chinese food food bucket. All these ones, 800 grams, only 7.25. You only get half the amount in the supermarket. Go to Asian food shop. Okay, swapsies. Hey guys, have a look at these beautiful bamboo steamers. So as you can see, you get them individually. There's your steamer and there's your lid. Come down to here and we're going to see a gorgeous range of chopsticks. So I reckon these ones are pretty cute. These ones, pretty damn cheap. And these ones, just hilarious. Right, come over to here and you're going to see these gorgeous little nets. These are used primarily for fishing out the goodies out of your hot pot. Up to here, easy to use steaming racks. Over here, 
we see the rolling pin that we use in most of our videos, and I reckon it looks a bit like a relay baton. Radio. We're coming down to the very last one here. I'm going to show you this. We've got some walks. So you've got your round bottom one and your flat bottom one. Round bottom if you've got a metal ring to put that on. So most of us are probably going to use this flat bottom one. Now, as you can see, perfectly round on both sides, a bit like me. Right, I think it's time for a swapsies. Okay guys, we've come upstairs and here's the choco pie. Is that upside down? Yep. Yeah. Okay, right, so I have- It's still upside down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> go on, go on. Okay, so I have a bit of a sweet tooth and I used to have these as a kid and they're absolutely delicious. They're individually wrapped. So if you have one, you don't feel too guilty. I think I might hold on to these. Now, I want to show you these crisps here. Now, Julie and I and Justin and Mum and Daddy sell these at the market. So these honey ones and these prawn ones. To be honest, we ate more of these than we sold. And these are a classic. Choco pies are delicious. But let's see if we can find something a bit more exotic. Now, this is more Mum's territory, so we'll let her explain that to you when she's here. But in the meantime, let's go on a day for Edinburgh style adventure to see if we can find our own exotic creature. <gasps> well, I think I can help with that because I'm quite exotic myself, as is all of this beautiful stuff behind me. Here we have some dried mushrooms and some black fungus. Trust me guys, it's super delicious. Oh, right, I think we're done. Actually, why not end on a spicy note? Come and have a look at this big mama bag of dried chilies. All right, now we're really done. Look out for round two. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and have an awesome day. Bye, guys. Bye.